Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Shiva from Department of Physics, Harvey College of Engineering, Bangalore. Today I'll explain and demonstrate optical fiber experiment. Title of the experiment, Determination of Numerical Aperture and Estimation of Loss in Optical Fiber. Experiment is classified into two parts, Part A and Part B. Aim of the experiment for Part A, to determine the numerical aperture of the given optical fiber. For Part B, to measure the transmission loss in the given optical fiber. Apparatus required for this experiment, optical fiber kit, optical fiber cables, numerical aperture jig and numerical aperture scale. It is based on theoretical background I want to explain here. Theoretical background for this experiment, it is given by, for a given fiber which consists of three regions, fiber core, fiber cladding and outer covering sheet. Fiber, it will be made of glass or plastic. Optical fibers are waveguides that transmit light from one point to another. It is based on total internal reflection. I'll explain with the help of this diagram. If you observe here, light ray when it is launched into the core of an optical fiber, it undergoes total internal reflection and it reaches the destination point. It transmits the data. The angle of incidence at the point of entry, it will be greater than the critical angle and it transmits the data completely without any loss. Numerical aperture and acceptance angle, what it is, I'll explain now with the help of this diagram. Given fiber consists of a core and a cladding region. At the point of entry, if you observe this cone, it is called as acceptance cone. With respect to the cylindrical axis of the fiber, any light ray, if it is launched into the core with respect to this axis, it undergoes total internal reflection. Sign of this angle, it is called as numerical aperture. Physical significance of the given fiber, it's defined as light gathering capability of the optical fiber. What is acceptance angle? It is the maximum angle from the axis of the fiber at which light ray may enter the fiber so that it may propagate via total internal reflection in the core. Experimental setup for numerical aperture measurement is shown in the diagram. Optical fiber kit will be given, which consists of on the front panel of the kit, display panel meter, LED and photodiode. LED is the light source which you are coupling with the given fiber at one end. Other end of the optical fiber, it is connected to numerical aperture J. At a distance L, output screen will be placed, which consists of coordinates X and Y axis and circular rings helps to measure the diameter of the spot. Function of the LED, it converts electrical to light energy. It transmits the data inside the optical core of a given fiber and reaches the destination. Diameter spot can be measured. How it is, I'll explain with the help of this diagram and the formula. Numerical aperture is equal to sine of the acceptance angle. If you observe in this diagram, at point A, it is the point of exit where the light ray emerges out. At point A, numerical aperture jig will be placed. At a distance L, screen output screen will be placed. BD gives the width of the spot, diameter of the spot. Dotted line AO indicates the cylindrical axis of the given fiber. Theta naught is the acceptance angle. If you observe here, triangle AOB is the right angle triangle. Sine of theta naught is nothing but it's the ratio of opposite to the side, it is BO divided by hypotenuse AB. BO, it's nothing but W by 2. Hypotenuse value square root of W by 2 square plus L square. By simplifying, the expression for sine theta naught will get is equal to W by square root of W square plus 4L square where W is the diameter of the beam spot, L is the distance from the optical fiber to the screen. I'll explain the experiment conduction for part A. 
these are the steps has to be followed to measure the numerical approach and acceptance angle apparatus required for this we require optical fiber kit which consists of light source photo detector and display panel and also we require optical fiber cable 1 meter length it is of 1 meter length and also which consists of a coupler which helps us to connect with the laser source the other end with the numerical aperture kit and we require another apparatus we'll call this as numerical aperture jig on which scale is graduated in centimeter so for every 1 cm by placing a scale it helps us to measure for different distances what is the diameter of the light spot and another one we require numerical aperture scale on which circles are drawn for of different diameter for every 2 mm distance so part a is measurement of numerical aperture for which i am connecting 1 meter cable one end of the cable i'm connecting this to the light source i'm connecting this to the light source and coupling this tightly i'm coupling the fiber tightly other end of the fiber if you observe so light is coming out it's possible for us to measure the diameter of the spot I'm allowing the light. I'm holding in such a way that the diameter of the spot you can observe on the surface of graph sheet. Other end of the optical fiber. I'm coupling this. I'm coupling this to the numerical aperture chip. I'm keeping this fiber, optical fiber, straight. and and placing the numerical aperture scale on the jig to measure the diameter of the spot for different distances if we vary the distance diameter of the spot it's vary we have to measure the diameter for 1 cm how to record the data with the help of this table i'll explain if you observe in the second column of the table a l is the distance between point a is the point of exit and the output screen where it is placed which is at a distance l l it is the variable value suppose if we vary this distance from point of exit for different distances for example if we consider for 10 12 14 16 mm like this width of the spot if we observe on the output screen also increases here w1 indicates if the light spot falls on the surface of the screen w1 is the horizontal width w2 is the vertical width average value gives the actual width of the diameter of the spot on the surface of the screen if you know what is w numerical aperture value can be calculated and the acceptance angle in degrees what is attenuation attenuation is the optical loss suffered during the propagation along the length of the optical fiber the factors contribute to the attenuation in optical fiber are dispersion absorption loss scattering loss bending loss coupling loss attenuation in the fiber it is measured in terms of attenuation coefficient we'll call this as we'll denote this with the letter alpha alpha is equal to minus 10 into it's a variation logarithmic variation of p out by p in by l 
it is measured in decibel per kilometer p out c in our power output and input respectively l is the length of the fiber in kilometer total attenuation is equal to alpha multiplied by the length of the fiber experiment conduction for part b and the procedure it is shown for part b for the measurement of transmission loss in the given fiber i'll explain with the help of the schematic diagram if you observe led and photodiode it's connected with the optical fiber function of led it converts electrical to light energy it is transmitted along the length of the fiber and it reaches the destination photodiode it is connected which converts light energy to electrical and the value it is displayed in the display panel meter and it will be recorded for different fiber procedure to conduct part b is as shown in the slide these are the steps has to be followed to conduct part b fiber try to keep this without bend as much as possible and now we have to measure the optical loss to measure the optical loss i am using two connecting wires i am connecting from the output end what we are receiving light signal is converted to electrical so to measure this how much it is to estimate what is the optical loss i am connecting a pair of wires getting on the display panel the output power how much it is this we have to keep the so i am keeping i am fixing this around 15 so this i'm fixing this the value i'm getting for 1 meter cable it is minus 14.90 for 1 meter cable this is the transmission loss for 1 meter cable so it is measured in decibel and i am replacing this similarly i am repeating this with the other cable i am making use of 5 meter cable and will find out what is the transmission loss for the this is the 5 meter cable which i am using and coupling this one end to the One end of the fiber to the light source, other end of the cable, and connecting this to the photo detector. You can see now the corresponding transmission loss for a five meter cable is minus sixteen point two four. I'll show you how to record the data for part B. for a 1 meter cable length fiber what is the loss in decibel record this in the table for a 5 meter cable similarly you record in fourth column of the table if we take the difference we'll get the transmission loss alpha l in decibel meter for 4 meter cable attenuation coefficient is given by attenuation loss by length is equal to it is measured in decibel per kilometer the result corresponding result has to be recorded is numerical aperture of the given optical fiber is found to be what is the value you have to note down you have to calculate by taking an average acceptance angle by taking an average value you have to record it and the transmission loss in optical fiber